Good afternoon, I'm Madison Carter here at 7 Eyewitness News. We're going to take you through the 716 in two minutes. A Buffalo mother who was facing charges after stabbing her six-year-old son multiple times in October pleaded guilty to attempted assault in the second degree. According to investigators, 33-year-old Zakiah Wolford attacked her six-year-old son at their home on Purdy Street, stabbing him dozens of times in the chest, arms, and torso. The little boy has since been treated and released from Ochai Children's Hospital. Niagara Falls police are still trying to find a woman they say left her baby near the ice machines at the Seneca Niagara Casino. Police are looking for Sharon Littleton. Authorities have been trying to get her to turn herself in with no luck. If you think you know where she is, call Niagara Falls police right away. And today is your last day to change your voter registration in Erie County ahead of the primary elections. You can update your address and party affiliation until the end of the day. Any changes made after today won't take effect until the general election in November. We're going to send things over to meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski for a look at your forecast. It's going to be a cold one as we get into our Valentine's Day evening. Temperatures are in the single digits and wind chill values are going below zero once again. However, as we get into early Saturday with the below low digit uh, temperatures for what it feels like out there. Our actual temperatures will end up in the teens. That's early on Saturday anyway. As we look at this hour by hour, we'll have some sunshine to finish out our day and then some flakes into our Valentine's Day evening for Buffalo areas across the Niagara frontier. And then we're getting into our Saturday beginning with sun increasing the clouds into the afternoon. We'll find some snow showers Saturday overnight into early Sunday morning. This will be less than an inch of accumulation and looking at the weekend ahead, we go from the 30s on Saturday with breezy conditions into the upper 30s by the time we get into Sunday. But hey, take a look at this. Three degrees is what we started with today. That happened 377 days ago. That was the last time we felt this very frigid cold reading of three degrees. That was February 2nd, 2019.